As we enter the second half of 2018, Nintendo apparently has a few more games to divulge. But before they do, we've got eight new Switch games just announced to share with ya. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here. Six of these are brand new titles. One is a release date update and one is a retail combo pack re-release update. Today's episode is brought to you by Mushroom Wars 2, a super cool hybrid RTS title for Nintendo Switch that's available right now. So while you'll have to wait for the rest of the games discussed today, you can go grab Mushroom Wars 2 now. We'll put a link in the description if you want to find out more information and definitely check it out on the eShop. Gabe and I have been having a ton of fun with it. There's a bunch of campaign missions, a lot of multiplayer options. You have online play, online leagues, ranked play, local multiplayer, and most importantly, you get to mess with tons of Mushroom Warriors, up to 4,000 on the screen at once, and none of them look like Toad. Yeah, we did have a ton of fun playing the multiplayer. I love the variety it has as far as how you're going to play. Like you said, you can play locally. It also has 1v1. It even has 1v1v1. And of course, you can do 2v2 for the max amount of people on the screen at once. It's a really fun time so far. Yeah, it's very colorful, and it's a genre that isn't really represented all that well on Switch. These are games that I loved back in my earlier gaming days, and I'm really glad to see something of this sort come to Switch. It's a pretty simple system, but there's a lot of depth once you get into it. You'll be sending different mushroom warriors from hut to hut, from building to building, and trying to capture the entire field. And throughout the campaign, they'll throw in a few different variables along the way. Hazards, bosses, things of that sort. Most importantly, though, is building up your army and capturing the different houses. Zach, I am going to want a rematch. You, like, wiped the floor with me in our first online match, and uh, I'm going to go practice and uh, try to become the Mushroom King. It's really good on Switch. I like it. It's like simple controls, right? You hold the right bumper, and that allows you to send your Mushroom Warriors from hut to hut, um, and you can pick if you want to send all of them, 75%, 50%, 25%, and there's actually a lot of micromanaging that goes on. It's not just like, oh, fling them here, fling them there. You do have to be careful, as you mentioned, Gabe. Uh, I have mastered the art of moving my Mushroom Men, and you need a little bit more work, but what's cool in multiplayer is that you get to use these different heroes. There are 12 different heroes. Each of them have unique abilities and skills that will help assist you to destroy your opponent throughout the match, and these heroes will appear in the campaign as well. It's a pretty lengthy campaign. They do a nice job of teaching teaching and explaining exactly what you need to do. So when you do move to multiplayer, you'll be ready to become that Mushroom King. So go check out Mushroom Wars 2 today on the eShop. It's available for $19.99, and Gabe and I have been having a lot of fun with it. With that being said, Zachary, why don't we get into this week's games? We should probably start with a Pilot Wings like. A lot of people are saying this is reminding them of the beloved game. Yes, Pilot Sports was just announced. It is basically Pilot Wings. It's got over 50 courses to explore, seven different challenges, five different aircraft, including a jetpack, and it's releasing September 2018. It's a very colorful, cartoony style arcade flight game. Gabe, were you into Pilot Wings much? I played it definitely a little bit at some like friend's house. I never owned it. Uh, I don't have the affinity for it that a lot of other people seem to, but I mean, I'd still play this. This actually does look kind of fun to me. Yes, it was my first N64 rental. Obviously, I got Mario 64 with the system, and there were not a whole lot of offerings, so it was Wave Race and Pilot Wings for me. I also played Pilot Wings Resort on 3DS, which I actually really liked. So if they're able to nail the gameplay, I'm all about this. There's one to four player frantic multiplayer fun game, and I will say it does visually not look all that lovely, but if the mechanics are there, then hey. Uh, it definitely could be worth it later this year. Let's talk about Namco Museum Arcade Pack. So this looked like a new game at first, but in fact, it's just merging Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 Plus and Namco Museum into a retail cartridge for the Switch. So you know what Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 is. Namco Museum on Switch had Dig Dug, Galaga, Galaga 88, Pac-Man, Pac-Man vs. Rolling Thunder, Rolling Thunder 2, Sky Kids, Splatterhouse, Tank Force, and The Tower of Druaga. Both those games uh, were pretty well received. So this is a cool package. I'm not seeing a price as of yet, um, but it is coming on September 28th. Yeah, this is the weird one that, like Zach mentioned at the beginning, that it's not quite a re-release. It's sort of just like a packaging Com bundle combo release yeah. yeah but i mean some of these games are actually like, kind of cool like i enjoy playing like spider house and things like that dig dug this is you know really fun i don't know if that game's gonna ever not be fun and you know little needs to be said about pac-man so i mean depending on the price this could be a fun pickup it has a very awesome box art as well so yeah if you're looking to just make your shelves pretty 
for that alone, it's 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 awesome. It's worth it. Yeah. All righty. Broforce is coming to Switch. The 2015 side-scrolling run-and-gun title is making its way to our hybrid. Devolver Digital was asked, Broforce on Switch, please, and they responded on Twitter, on route. So we don't know exactly when it is coming, but it's definitely coming. Gabe, you mentioned that you like this one a lot in its original incarnation. Yeah, I played it when it first came out, uh, you know, some years ago, and I actually had a decent time with it. It does have co-op, and it is this, like, very, like, traditional side-scrolling, like, shooting game, but uh, the level design and the progression there is always, like, really fun for me. I actually like Broforce. Yes, it definitely uh, embodies sort of the fast-paced, short play session, multiplayer gameplay that works well on Switch. And it includes uh, Rambo, John McClane, Ellen Ripley, uh, and there's hundreds of characters, totally. So um, lots of heroes for your bro force. We'll keep you posted when we get a release date for that one. Velocity 2X is moving to Switch in August. August. This game initially launched on the Vita and PS4 back in 2014. Four years later, it's now making its way to a Nintendo platform. This one's pretty fun. I have this on Vita. I played it on Vita. Uh, there's over 50 levels and a lot of replayability because there are leaderboards. Uh, you can go for the fastest time, highest completion percentage, highest overall score. It's pretty darn fun. You're seeing the gameplay right now, um, and it is bring, uh, it's being brought by Curve Digital. Yes, uh, the, it says that it's a speedrunner's dream, Zach. You can use speed boost pads on, on foot, teledash, and uh, cybernetic sprints to make it through the game faster. So, yeah, if you love replaying things and trying to get to them quicker and quicker, this seems like it's one for you. I don't know that I'll play it again, but I did like how it merged. Um, it basically is like a combo of like side scrolling, like action game, and then also like a shoot 'em up. Uh, so that is pretty nifty, and you can keep your eyes later this year for that one. All right, RPG Maker MV is coming to Switch. This is the latest in the traditional series uh, that has you making your own RPGs. You can also play other people's RPGs that they have made, and it is hitting Switch later this year, uh, for or later next year, I guess, 2019, for 60 bucks. Yes, Zach. This is simple enough for a child, yet power enough, for, uh, powerful enough for a developer. That's your tagline there. Have you ever played RPG Maker at all? I have not. I do not have the patience uh, <laughs> to, to do something of this sort. I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty like impatient, I guess. We're going to talk about qual personality flaws here. Um, no, but I think it is cool that it's coming to Switch. It's also coming to other consoles. Um, but just kind of a nifty inclusion, and I'm glad that the Switch is part of it. Yeah. I played one, like, way back in the day. It might have been on PlayStation or something like that. Like, one of the probably the first iterations of it. But, yeah, people do some crazy stuff with these games, so I'm excited. Yeah, as long as the UI and the controls uh, are well-crafted, I think this would be a really cool way to dip tons of hours into making something. You'll be able to take it portably. You'll be able to dock it. And I don't know. It's It seems like that would be a really great way to work on your RPG Maker title um, if that is your cup of tea. So stay tuned. NIS America is bringing that next year. NIS America is also bringing Caligula Effect Overdose in 2019. The Caligula Effect uh, initially released last year on Vita um, and on, on PlayStation TV, if you remember that thing. Now it's coming to PC, PS4, and Switch, and they're kind of doing a lot here. So this is a re-release that includes twice the story content, new characters, additional scenario paths and endings, and probably most importantly, a UI overhaul. It seems like that was one of the biggest complaints with the original version that is a very busy, messy UI. They say that they're redoing that, so maybe it will be uh, a worthy re-release in 2019. Yeah, now I'm not saying that this is anywhere near on the same quality level, but it clearly has Persona vibes. Uh, it, yes. di it didn't review really well on Vita, unfortunately, but like honestly, the, I really like the trailer. The, the footage that you're seeing now, I, I think it looks really sweet. So if they fix some of the issues from the Vita version, uh, it is in 2019, so we're going to have to wait some time. But yeah, I might check this one out. So yes, it's a JRPG. You are like in a school. Um, you are uncovering. You're using the Caligula effect to uncover... Uh, dark secrets and it does look very chaotic and crazy they're looking to overhaul that and maybe they will deliver a superior title when it hits switch pc ps4 let's move to something a little bit different here we've got the moose man coming to switch later this month gabe have you ever wanted to be a moose man how do you know that i am currently not a moose man 
I think this might be your actual identity. The whole Gabe exterior is just a facade, and really you are the Moose Man, a character that has the ability to see all that is hidden to the mortal eye. Ooh. So quite the power. Uh -huh. As the Moose Man players must embark on a journey through all the worlds of ancient myth, find artifacts of Chud tribes, and solve all the mysteries of Finno-Urgic tales. You will explore worlds, dive in the deep atmosphere of folk Komi music, meet long-forgotten gods and spirits, and solve puzzles. This one's hitting July 18th for $6.99. Uh, it is described as a 2D puzzle adventure. Some people were saying that it's a little bit of a... Of a side-scrolling walking simulator as well you're more experiencing the game but it does sound like there are some light puzzle work along the way yeah this one actually looks kind of cool it's a good price it's 6.99 not a super expensive experience so i don't expect it to take very long to complete it might be one that i might want to embark on i mean you're already embarking if you are the moose man shh that's a secret last but not least is our release date update my hero one's justice is coming to switch on October 26, 2018. This one had quite a bit of hype at E3. I know people were pretty pumped uh, to play their favorite characters in this title, and I have no experience with this show or with this universe, but as I said, like people are pretty pumped. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of liken this a little bit to the release of Dragon Ball on on switch I'm, I'm talking about xenoverse 2 uh this is one that people are clearly excited for the anime is something that i'm gonna like try to get into because i see more and more people saying that, like how amazing it is but yeah mm -hmm. uh, october 26 it's coming and hopefully by that time i'll be done with whatever episodes are available and i'll be a little bit more knowledgeable and be able to play this absolutely uh it says you can choose between all of the fan favorite characters the environments are destructible choose up to two sidekicks to unleash powerful combos uh, and in traditional fashion it is a fighting game so that one is hitting a little bit later in october i think my favorite game of the day gabe i'm gonna say I'm, i don't know if this is this is silly of me but i'm actually kind of excited for this pilot sports game I mean, that's kind of what I was going to say, and you took it. So, I will say, I'm going to go with My Hero One's Justice. Uh, it, it looks cool. I, I'm into, you know, anime sometimes, and, and this is one that people really, really seem to love. So, I kind of just want to dive into it as a whole, whether it be the show and the game or, you know, one or the other. Hopefully, the game uh, ends up being fun. Absolutely, and I think that both Broforce and Velocity 2X, even though there are older titles that are being ported to Switch, both of those are quality and worth uh, worth your time. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Let us know which game you are most excited for in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch and its new releases. We'll be back next week. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter and Discord. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. For myself and Gabe, Switch Force, out.